So as the football world continues to be on a football lockdown, I thought I'd take a little look at what the state of football would look like in 10 years time. But in this video, we're going to be taking a look at one team in particular, and that team is Everton. That's right, folks, back once again with another video. Today, we're going to take a look at Everton. Where are they going to be in 10 years' time? We'll get to that in just one sec. If you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button. Give me a bang up to date with all things Baba Rovers related, football manager related, world football, whatever we know here. Under one roof ski. Now, before we jump into the future, the 10 years' time, we're going to take a little look, refresh our memories at what Everton is all about. Yes, Carlo Ancelotti. This could be the start of a brand new era. Can they win the Premier League uh, under Ancelotti's um, mentorship? Of course, they got the likes of Alex Iwobi, uh Keane at the back, Keane up top, and all that kind of jazz. Expected to finish ninth uh, in the table. Let's have a closer look at them. So, we, of course, forever present in the Premier League. That's why I consider them. Of course, they are. They are a Premier League team with the highest ever uh, uh, finish of fourth back in 2004 2005. I think it was under Moyes. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. A couple of sixth place finishes, fifth place finishes as well. Uh, fifth, all the way back in 2013 2014. Will they get to those sort of heights again? Uh, last time they finished in eighth. Ancelotti is the man to pull the strings. Seamus Coleman is the captain. Leighton Baines still knocking on the door as well as Lucas Dingney is uh, the 25-year-old uh, left back. He's the hot prospect or the key player at the moment. And Lewis Gibson is the man uh, currently on the books at Fleetwood Town. So these are the setup. Let's remind ourselves at who is uh, the main man here. So Rick Carson, 22 years of age. He should still be knocking on the door um, when we come around in 10 years' time. But where will he be? Andre Gomez, he could be there. He's 35 years of age. We just don't know. Alex Awobi, only 23. Feels like he's been around for absolutely ages. He should be around as well. One man who probably won't be will be this guy, Theo Walcott. He's 30. He definitely will be, unless he's come up with some sort of Viagra-esque pill. That'll keep him around for until he's 40. I doubt he will be there. Uh, Dominic Calvin-Lewin, I think I did see him. I think he might end up at West Brom. Don't know. I don't know yet. We don't know. Not that I'm saying that I can read into the future or not, but I'm, I'm feeling West Brom is Albion. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, Yuri Mina, 24 years of age. Uh, Fabian Delph won't be there. 29, only 29 Fabian Delph. Um, of course, he seems like he's been around for ages as well. Leeds, Villa, Leeds, Villa, Man City. Been around for absolutely ages. Guilfi Sigurdsson as well. Bernard. All key players that could. Uh, this guy's a pain in the ass though, isn't he? Isn't he a pain in the ass? 19-year-old Moise Keane, always in the spotlight for the wrong reasons. Leighton Baines will definitely not be there. 34 years of age. Um, who was the other one? Who was the other fella? That's that's could be. Is it Slayton Baines, isn't it? Yeah, it's Slayton Baines. Anyway, let's hop ten years in time and have a look at where Everton are. So here we are, boys. Hopped into the vortex. Thirty first of May, twenty twenty nine. Where are Everton? Where are Everton? That's the question. I'm putting my money on a safest houses. Uh, Premier League spot. I've got to spell Everton right first. That would, uh, of course, got a weird ass keyboard. They are. 11th in the Premier League. They have stayed wherever they are. New manager, John Joe Kenny is the captain. Vice captain is, you'd like to see it, Rick Carlson. And Eddie Spice Cotton is the man pulling the strings. They were close, though. 17th in the Premier League way back in 2021. Uh, 15th. They went up as high as 7th. 7th uh, has been the busy, the highest they've ever been. Uh, very close as well, a couple of seasons back. So they're, they're, they've not really, not really had much fortune. Um, let's have a look at the boys then, shall we? Uh, so this is the state of play out in um, out in uh, Goodison Park. Is it Goodison Park still? That's the question. Where do they play their football facilities? Goodison Park. Hmm. Strange. I thought they were moving on. Anywho, so Benjamin Nigan is their main man, 54 years of age. He got uh, 10 goals this season. He is a bit of an all-rounder. Uh, Swedish international. He's actually wanted uh, by some big boys, I expect, Real Madrid. So you could probably cash in on that guy. You're only going for £16.75 million. Pounds. He's been very, very savvy for you. Not really blown up big time, but I think this season would have actually turned a turned corner for him. So you probably cash in on him. Eddie Spice Cotton is a regen. We're not going to be looking too much into, into him. Um, so Rick Carlson still there at a ripe old age of 32, 13 caps for Brazil. Um, let's have a closer look at him. Steady Eddie, look at him. He's, he's been he's been a good old pickup since his transfer from Watford uh, for 43 million pounds. You know, a couple of double digit seasons. Uh, assists aren't really his forte, but goals are. Um, anyone else? Uh, Osman Dembele is here. 
32 year old Frenchy on loan from Chelsea uh, just having appearances no major goals for you he was actually bought from Barcelona for Chelsea you've got him on a loan uh, John Joe Kenny is El Capitano no caps for him England wise uh, forever present though with um, with Everton he did go out on loan in the initial season to, to Schalke came back the better player and has been there forever since now we're in the armband for the Goodison Park boys uh, Mason Holgate still there as well no caps for England unfortunately uh, went out on loan for West Brom season prior to the initial season here but forever at the back uh, keeping a steady ship I imagine Talafico he's, a, he's a, a proper player as well left back Left back in the change room. One million pound pickup from Bayer Leverkusen. because he was formerly at Inter Milan, who picked him up from Ajax. Uh, United paid 61 million pounds for him. He had an okay couple of seasons, uh, dipped a little bit, and then Bayer Leverkusen uh, swapped him before a switch to Everton. So this is it. Yeah, uh, some some good. Uh, Luca Pellegrini, he's a little savvy little player as well. That's a good pickup. Um, went from Roma, I think. Uh, Juventus picked him up for 19.5 million pounds didn't really break into the team eventually went to Saudi Arabia for a little bit PSG then took him on uh, didn't really get any time but then Everton have taken a, a gamble on him he's been okay uh, but now 32 million pounds eight caps for his name let's take a closer look at the managerial merry-go-round so Ancelotti was only there for a year and a bit before he being binned off. David Ancelotti came in as caretaker. Eusebio Di Francesco came in just shy of a year. Didn't really get much out of it. No, no glory whatsoever. Uh, Jesse Marsh came in for three years. Who the heck's this fella? Never heard of him. Never heard of him. Uh, formerly of whatever milestones. Everton manager, Stoke manager, uh, Salzburg manager. Oh, yeah, he's, he's pretty decent, isn't he? Lewis Castro came in for a year and a bit. Luka Modric came in for just shy of a year. He's now manager of Borda. And then now Paco Jimenez, uh, formerly of Vallecano, Las Palmas, amongst others. Uh, what you really want to know is the transfer activity. So over the years, uh, you brought in a few players, uh, quite a lot of them. First season, making an £11 million profit uh, by selling Omar Nase to... Uh, where, where did he go? He went to uh, Dynamo Kiev. Schneider went to Copenhagen as well. Is he still in the game? Then none of these are in the game. Skeltenberg also went to Hercules Almelio. Uh, Matt Rich came in on loan. Second season, you spent £75 million, but generated £69 million in sales. You brought in this guy, Nusia Masakaru, who's now at Burnley. Six-fingered banjo playing weird those who are in the Premier League. It's a little bit of a, uh, a futuristic look into what's going to come in a couple of days' time. Um, you bought him from Ajax, £23 million. Pounds. You bought in Judge Reinwald, uh, from Munch not from Munch but he's now at Munch and Gladbach. Um, you bought him for £13 million pounds from Leicester, who took a punt on him from Crystal Palace. Uh, you then eventually sold him to uh, Fulham for £7 million. Pounds. Uh, Danny Loder was brought in from uh, Fulham. He actually then went up to uh, Crystal Palace for a little bit, generating a bigger sale to Watford. Burnley took a punt on him and then resold him back to Crystal Palace. Not really uh, setting the place on fire, if we're completely honest with you. As for players going out, well, you sold Lucas Digny to Arsenal. Um, he's now valued at £500,000 at Barcelona, so he went on to bigger and better things. He could even go to bigger and better things even further, as Blackman are uh, sniffing at him and maybe want to bring him back to the English games. So Arsenal took him, £31 million. Barcelona then took him for £60 million, and he's been at Barcelona. And doing all right for himself as well. So, yes, he does reach the dizzy heights of, of that. But he could reach the dizzy heights of Ewood Park soon as well. Uh, Gambin was sold to Zenit. Seamus Colvin went out to Al Shabab out in the UAE. I'm sure he made a chunk of change out of that move. Uh, Theo Walcott went to wherever. That's Strasbourg. Um, he's now went to Zaragoza. And now he's unemployed. Um, Bolassi. He still was he still on the books? Um, he went out to UAE eventually. Uh, he did make the switch to Brescia for a couple of seasons in Syria before making a, a, a lucrative move to the UAE. Mo Besic went out to Brazil. Chang Tonson went out to Saint Etienne. Kieran Phillips, no one of any interest. Moving on, Fabian Delft went to Connab Sport. Next up, next season, uh, you spent a bit of money and you brought in uh, Leonardo Pardes from PSG. He's still in the game, uh, now back over at Brazil. You sold him to Boca for £6.75 million. Pounds. He was an OK player and definitely lost his value since then. So Damari Gray picked up on a freebie, uh, formerly of Leicester. Uh, then you released it or sold him, actually, for a good chunk of change to Leipzig for £23. Whatever million pounds. Now over at Lasic. Um... Players gone out this season. 
Michael Caine, Michael Keane even, Olympiakos, uh, Liam Higgins went to Wolves under 18s for a good chunk of change. Bernard went to Udinese, 13.25 million. Calvert Lewin, I did say it, gone to West Brom, and he's doing all right for himself. No caps for England. Look, a double digit man out in the uh, uh, forever for all the seasons, actually, holding his own and uh, holding value. Good, strong signing by West Brom uh, to, to keep them uh, in the mix wherever they are in the world. Next up, 2022 23 season, £95 million spent, £134 million brought in. Uh, you bought some money on this fella. There's a Cameroonian international, Andre Frank Zambo Angueza. Easier for me to say. Uh, you then sold him to Nantes. Uh, not really, didn't do anything for you. He's now Olympic Marseille. Uh, also brought it in this season, Helder Costa from Leeds. Um, didn't know he's Angolian. Um, just the one season, bit shit. Then you sold him to Lille for £9 million. Uh, Vlap, never heard of him. Never heard of Vlapster, the Vlapmeister. Yeah, he spent a chunk of change on all these guys. Josh Timmon, the most travelled player I've seen so far. He's been at uh, Stoke, Everton, West Brom, Newcastle, Bournemouth, and Watford. He's been there or thereabouts with all the teams I've been looking at. He's a sort of uh, a jinx. Uh, players that have left you this season. Kevin Ruig uh, uh, went to Burnley. You guys bought him from Zurich for 3.2 million. He made a good chunk of change on that guy. Uh, he's now at CSK Moscow. Uh, next up, Tom Davis. He went to Celtic. He's actually uh, developed as a player at Celtic. Uh, they were sold him to Wolves for 2 million. And Swansea have then gobbled him up as well. No caps for that fella. Uh, Craig Proctor went away as well. Judge Reinhold, whatever. Um, Lewis Gibson. No one else. Rick Ashley, whatever, back there. Yeah, moving on to the next season, 2023-24 season, spent 100 million, bringing in 78 million pounds as well. Mitrovic came in, that's a good pickup. How did he do for goals wise? He okay, double digit for a couple of seasons. You sold him for 13, a bit of a loss there. He was an okay player for Fulham as well, not really blitzing up like he does in the real world. Joe Arabo as well, brought back from uh, Scottish football uh, by Everton, 21 million pounds. He then went over to Brazil, uh, 92, 99 caps for Nigeria. Yeah, Ivan Gomez. Players gone out. Damari Gray, like we said, we've seen that already. Uh, Jamie Shackleton went to Southampton. Held a Costa. Mosey Keane went to Hull. Where the heck's this troublemaking bastard now? He's over at Roma. Yeah, he's gone around a bit. Went on loan to Rovers for a little bit. Don't want really to talk about that. Uh, and that's about it. So, yeah. Moving on to the next season. Uh, £104 million spent. £85 million received. He spent uh, a lot of the money on this guy. Salio Maite. Midfielder. £44 million or something like that. £41 million. Um, He actually went from Lille to uh, Milan for 52 million then sold him to Sporting after some steady seasons nothing really spectacular easy easy uh, the man the myth the legend uh, formerly of QPR sold to West Brom for 14 million pound who then sold him to Huddersfield he has then cashed in uh, to Everton he's okay his value is actually soared a little bit to 27 million pounds no caps getting on a little bit now um, Danilo Formerly of Man uh, Real Madrid, still in the game, still in the game. A thirty million pound pickup from uh, looks like Juventus. Everton bought for seven million pound, then sold to uh, Olympique Marseille. He's he's fallen down the, the football ladder quite drastically as well. Ryan Fisher, he's a Regen. Not really going to get excited about that. Player's gone out though. Uh, Neil Jackson, another Regen, gone to Swansea. Um, Anger Andre Gomez went to Celtic. This is the former United guy, is it? Oh, no, it's the former Everton guy. That's right, that Gomez, the proper Gomez. I uh, went to Celtic for twelve million pounds. You guys bought him for twenty-two million pounds. He's now over in Genoa. Do you know what I mean? He's over in Genoa. Uh, any other guys that stand out? Moisey Keane, Blackburn. We talked about that briefly. Yeah, that's about it. Next one, 25, 26 season, 60 million spent, 30 million coming in. Uh, you, you spent a bit of money on Tahiti Chong, who went over to West Ham. Uh, you sold him for, he's born for 16, sold him for 10. Not really played too much games for Everton, to be honest with you. Bit of a flop. Um, more regens. Uh, players going, players going out. Michael Vlap to Celtic, Luke Brown, Danilo. We saw about that. Ryan Ashley is actually a real player. One of your academy boys went out on loan a whole bunch. Leeds then took the punt, and he's gone. Mosey Keane, there he goes. Yeri Mina, ah, see you later, pal. Still in the game uh, over at VAFC. Is out in France. Um, still knocking on a few bits and pieces. 
2026-27 season, Dominic Solanke was bought in £22.5 million. Pounds. He actually went over to PSV for £5 million. Pounds. Not really did much for Everton. Played a lot of games, not really chipped in with the goals. Jordan Henderson, goodness gracious me. He's played for both sides of the Mersey. Uh, after a short stint over in Marseille, he went back to Everton, where he had his house and his wine and business and all that kind of jazz over there. Emerson was brought in from uh, AC Milan, uh, formerly of Chelsea, Roma, Fulham. Um, you picked him up for £13 million, pounds, selling him for £11 million. Pounds. Not a bad bit of business, but a bit of a loss in the grand scheme of things. You've got £60 million pounds worth of sales. Uh, most of it coming from Mitrovic, Kane Ritchie Hostler, who is an Englishman. One of your academy boys from Man City. Uh, Rangers picked him up a little bit. Uh, also 5.7, uh, 15.5 million pounds from Rangers. Schalke now, now owing for a cool 10 million pounds. Leonardo Pardes, he's a good little player. Formerly of, of, of PSG. He did spend £33 million pounds on him. Sold him for a, a penny. Next season, 2027-28, uh, you spent 124, cool, 127.4 million on Dennis Sakira, Swiss international, uh, formerly of Munchen Gladbach. They bought, they sold him to Hertha Berlin for £40 million. Pounds. You bought him for 33 Not really sure if it's worth that money. Pellegrini we've seen already. Gromaldo, uh, formerly of uh, Benfica. Tottenham bought him for £38 million. You bought for ten. You sold him already for £2 million. Pounds. Bit of a loss on that. Uh, players going out. £95 million pounds worth of talent. Uh, Nicolas Fernandez has gone to Salzburg. Uh, you bought him for 18 So you kind of wiped your face with that one. A little bit of business there. Alex Awoke went to PSV. Still there. He's actually over at Valencia now. He's gone even more. Uh, he was bought by PSV. Who then binned him off on a free. Valencia have him now. And he's chipping in with a bit of a performance or so. Um... And into the final season now, Eddie Spice Cotton was bought in from Brighton. Uh, Nicholas Talafenko was bought in for a million pounds. Mario Bravo, Osama Dembele was brought in. Players gone out. Solanke went to PSV, Grimaldo. But, but, but Ryan Fisher, not sure who he is. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, boys, uh, for your transfers. Let's take a look at the best 11s. Best 11, this is the best 11 for uh, Everton from the get-go. Uh, you've got Alves between sticks, John Joe Kenny, Holgate, Mina and Mazzarari at the back there with Ize, Omer, Rakalsa, Nigan, Awobi, Sandro uh, leading the line on the bench. You've got Pickford, Molina, Ben Davis, uh, Gomez. Uh, I want to look at Ben Davis, uh, Mitrovic and Gilfrey, Sigurdsson. So let's take a look at uh, the get-go. So in your initial season, Calvert-Lewin was the main man with 10 goals uh, to his name. Also in the lineup, no Rick Carlson. Looks like he had a bit of a hit and miss season. Um, Tom Davis within the starting 11 as well. Uh, Pickford between the sticks. Second season, Pickford still in the sticks. Uh, John Joe Kenny at the back. Gomez as well. Gilby Sigurdsson holding the line in a nice little uh, uh, action-packed midfield. Not a lot of goals in this team. Sandro getting nine of them. Next season, uh, we're moving forward. 2021-2022 season. Pickford still between the sticks. Mason Holgate at the back. Uh, Van Dolgarden joins him as well at centre-back. Awobi still in the lineup. Rick Carlson makes the team, as does Sandro on the bench. Damari Gray amongst others. Uh, next up, new keeper Marco Melencia alongside uh, John Joe Kenny, Holgate, Mina, and Davis at the back. Shackleton is in midfield. Mikel Flaps in there. Rick Carlson leads the line. 13 goals as well. Uh, 15 goals, sorry. Uh, Mick Silva then takes over the reins between the sticks. Uh, double digits from Rick Carlson, uh, Benjamin Nigan, uh, Alex Awobi, and Mitrovic up top. Next season, 2024 25 season, uh, Kieran O'Hara. So it's a lot of inconsistency between uh, the goalkeepers over the season. John Joe Kenny remains there alongside Holgate. Uh, Mitrovic gets double digits again. Easy comes in the squad as Rick Carlson holds his line with 11 goals as well. Next season, 2025 26 season, Mitrovic still leads the line with seven goals. Awobi has eight, Nigan has nine uh, at the back it's another goalkeeper Nathan Alvarez he remains between the sticks for another season Holgate John Joe Kelly remain at the back uh, Jordan Henderson's in the squad for, for a stint um, Alex Awobi as well still inside Alex and Rickalson with 12 goals as well next season Alvarez remains H uh, Kenny and Holgate do two Luca, Luca Pellegrini comes in at left back can he play at left back he can play at left back uh, Rick Carlson up there with 13 goals, double digits. Uh, Ibe Ize still remains in the lineup. Solanke is in there as well with 12 goals. Uh, next season, Alvarez remains between the six. Holgate, Pellegrini at the back. Spice Cotton and Rick Carlson in midfield. Brian Acosta on the bench. Nigan leads the line with double digits. And that is it. Uh, quick look at some of these numbers here. Rick Carlson with 337 games for um, 
Everton, but it's ousted by Holgate with 360. Look at the best goal scoring performances uh, by uh, Everton. Uh, the top goal scorer throughout the whole 10 years is Rick Carlson. He has 15 goals in one season. As for the assists, that goes to Adbertel Umur with 10 assists. Um, still at the books at Everton, 29 years old. Uh, a Turkish international could be very, very valuable in the future. Most uh, highest average rating, that honour goes to. Uh, looks like Alex Awobi with 7.26. Uh, Rick Carlson also 7.26 as well um, and that is pretty much it there's a quick overview of the records for you um, most highest transfer fee paid was Guilfrey Sigurdsson that was a legitimate transfer 75 million pound received for Lukaku uh, and that's also a legitimate transfer quick look at the records here FA Cup nothing League Cup nothing uh, everything else nothing quick look at the leagues Pretty much as you like it. Your highest points recovered is 57, and that was in 2022-23 season. When you finish fifth, when you finish fifth, you had 60 odd points. Well, 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 well. That is pretty much it, boys. That is pretty much it. So Everton remain a Premier League side despite flip flopping the manager. John Joe Kenny and Rick Carlson remain. What about the next team in the lineup? We have Crystal Palace. Where are they going to be? Are they going to be a Premier League team? Are they going to be a Division or uh, Championship Club or even Division One, League One, whatever it is? We'll find out tomorrow. But until then, be sure to give this video some love and smash the thumbs up, smash the subscribe. I would say Everton are a bit of a uh, you know a steady ship. Not really. They are. They need to sort it out though. They are on the uh, you know they've been close to relegation for a couple of seasons but until then boys and girls we'll be back tomorrow with crystal palace until then i'm out of here thanks again for watching please like share and most importantly hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things blackburn rovers related championship related football related we've got it all covered right under one roof and while i still have you please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here i hope <laughs>